William Nicholson, the 13th of December 1753 to the 21st of May 1815, was a renowned English chemist and writer on natural philosophy and chemistry, as well as a translator, journalist, publisher, scientist, inventor, patent agent, and civil engineer. Topic. Early life Nicholson was educated in Yorkshire, and after leaving school, he made two voyages as a midshipman in the service of the British East India Company. His first ship was reportedly called the Boston and the second voyage was on board the Gatton. Subsequently, having become acquainted with Josiah Wedgwood in 1775, he moved to Amsterdam, where he made a living for a few years as Wedgwood's agent. On his return to England he was persuaded by Thomas Holcroft to apply his writing talents to the composition of light literature for periodicals, while also assisting Holcroft with some of his plays and novels. Meanwhile, he devoted himself to the preparation of an introduction to natural philosophy, which was published in 1781 and was at once successful. A translation of Voltaire's Elements of the Newtonian Philosophy soon followed, and he then entirely devoted himself to scientific pursuits and philosophical journalism. In 1784 he was proposed by Josiah Wedgwood the current chairman and appointed as secretary to the General Chamber of Manufacturers of Great Britain, and he was also connected with the Society for the Encouragement of Naval Architecture, established in 1791. He gave much attention to the construction of various machines for comb cutting, file making, cylinder printing and other uses. He also invented an areometer. Topic: <inaudible> Scientific work. On the 12th of December 1783, Nicholson was elected to the Chapter Coffee House Philosophical Society. He was proposed by Jean Hyacinth Magellan and seconded by horologist John Whitehurst. Nicholson communicated to the Royal Society in 1789 two papers on electrical subjects. In the same year, he reviewed the controversy which had arisen over Richard Kirwan's essay on phlogiston, and published a translation of the adverse commentaries by the French academicians Lavoisier, Monge, Berthollet, and Guyton de Morveau as an essay on phlogiston, to which are added notes. In 1797, he founded, published, and wrote part of the Journal of Natural Philosophy, Chemistry, and the Arts. Generally known as Nicholson's Journal, the earliest monthly scientific work of its kind in Great Britain. The journal published the first known aerodynamic analysis of gliders and heavier-than-air fixed-wing flying machines designs, by George Cayley in 1809-1810. The publication continued until 1814. In 1799 he established a school in London's Soho Square, where he taught natural philosophy and chemistry, with the aid of a grant of £1,500 from Thomas Pitt. In May 1800 he with Anthony Carlyle discovered electrolysis, the decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen by voltaic current. The two were then appointed to a chemical investigation committee of the new Royal Institution. But his own interests shortly turned elsewhere. Besides considerable contributions to the philosophical transactions, Nicholson wrote translations of Fourcroy's Chemistry (1787) and Chaptal's Chemistry (1788), First Principles of Chemistry (1788), and a Chemical Dictionary (1795). He also edited the British Encyclopedia or Dictionary of Arts and Science. 
Voices, 6 vols, London, 1809. Topic: Later life. During the later years of his life, Nicholson's attention was chiefly directed to water supply engineering at Portsmouth, at Gosport and in Hammersmith. William Nicholson died in Bloomsbury at the age of 61 on 21 May 1815, attended by Sir Anthony Carlyle. <laughs> 